will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. story time with Mr. Lumada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. he brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be here. Good morning and welcome to Story Time. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy, happy Thursday. Wherever you are today, I'm glad that you are here. And if you're out here in Oakland, maybe sleeping in a little bit longer as school is out. Thank you so much for joining in and welcome. Please, as always, let us know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you. I am excited to be here with you. And of course, our wonderful book that we're reading today. Let me see if I can get the title right today. Most of the better things. No, see. <laughs> Most of the better natural things in the world. And this one is written by Dave Eggers and illustrations by Angel Chang. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Welcome, welcome. Glad we're here together. And indeed, I will get this title by the end of our story time today. Thank you so much for being here. And um, yeah, get ready for this one. Get comfortable as we continue this week to look at things that we look forward to over the summer. Of course, that is if you're in a place that the summer is starting right now, so you get to enjoy time off school and, um, yeah, maybe get to travel, get to see a lot of the world, and that is what this book is going to help us see today. We're going to be looking at different land formations, some stunning land formations um, put together in this collection by Dave Eggers and Angel Chang. I hope you're ready for this one. And also, I will be showing you, if I may, boy, a few pictures from just from travels to show you some of these different landforms that I have seen i make it a mass to try and travel at least one new place every year and so far so good although these last two years with the pandemic have been very hard but um hopefully soon back to jet setting again thank you so much for joining in story time and welcome welcome please as always let us know where you are and who is joining in with you thank you for being here i am excited as always a wonderful story awaits and this one comes to you from chronicle books of san francisco Francisco. Good morning to you and welcome, welcome. Let us see who is with us this morning, ready to enjoy story time. Good morning to you. Oh my goodness, Soraya, getting ready for first grade. How are you doing today? And today is your birthday. What? Thank you so much for joining in. Happy birthday, Soraya. So glad you could be here with us and you woke up extra early and you're starting your day with story time. Oh, Oh my goodness, I cannot, I cannot take it. It's too much. Thank you so much, Soraya. And you know what? I am going to do you one better too. Please get in touch, Sharon Lungo. Get in touch with me so you can get a little something for Soraya that is especially from Storytime. Please, please get in touch with me later on. I will be at Emerson later just clearing out a few things. But if you let me know, drop by and um, pick up Soraya's little gift. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Happy birthday to you, Soraya. And I hope that it is indeed a good one. What a way to start the week, your birthday. What a way to, 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 to you know, like to end 
end the week your birthday and then school is out too who could ask for more than that <laughs> thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate you sharon lungo and soraya six years old today thank you so much for joining us good morning to you amanda west and of course sarah and nathan in sunny but also rainy illinois today happy birthday to you soraya coming coming from nathan and sarah and of course amanda yes sending the love right there absolutely love it good morning to you and welcome to story time thank you for being here if you're joining us for the recordings later on please still leave a message for us so we know you were here and we can say good morning to you we can say hello to you wherever in the world you're joining us from thank you so much for joining in and i hope that you are okay what's your favorite place to travel what's your favorite thing to do yes indeed summer is upon us if you're in a part of the world where summer is right now summer is upon us it is coming and of course school is going out soon some of you are still in school but school out here in oakland is out and i know most places will be out very soon in a couple weeks or so so all your travel plans i hope are good i hope you get to enjoy them thank you so much for being here and indeed welcome to story time i love to travel and indeed with the pandemic it's been really hard and um i put a few just a you photos there's many more trips that i would love to share um like my time in zanzibar um the time on um in in southeast asia and all so many other places even just time in in the grand canyon and um you know like uh, also visiting um new orleans and um many other places it's been wonderful and i hope that you know i'm granted more time more years to continue traveling and enjoying these beautiful places thank you so much for joining in on story time and of course that's what our book is is all about today most of the better natural things in the world this one is coming to you from dave eggers and angel chung and of course we're reading it with permission of chronicle books of san francisco yes indeed where are you planning to go this summer thank you for being here with us and whatever holidays whatever breaks that you have out wherever uh, other parts of the world whatever you have what do you intend to do thank you so much for joining in story time and if you're an inside cat if you're an inside person well that is still okay we have something for you coming up tomorrow all right for now we're going to get ready for our story but before then too let us just um go on a short break and then when we come back we'll be ready for our story join me on the other side thank you so much for being here on story time with me today absolutely appreciate you all thank you thank you all right here we go i'm minal patel and i am an artist designer and the author and illustrator of priya dreams of marigolds and masala and you are watching story time with mr lamada Oh, thank you so much, Minal Patel. If you've not checked out Minal Patel Studio on Instagram and also just reached out, there's so much to follow, so many beautiful designs to see. And if you want to see more of those designs too, an example of those designs, check out her book, Priya Dreams of Marigolds and Masala. It is indeed a beautiful one, not just beautiful pictures and illustrations, but also a wonderful story indeed, a heartwarming story. But today we do have this one with us, most of the better natural things in the world. Do you see how I slow down when I have to say that title so I get it right? <laughs> Most of the better natural things in the world. This one coming to you from Dave Eggers and um, Angel Chang. And of course, we're reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. But before then too, I just wanted to show you a little bit of some of those places. Where are you places? Come on, come on, come on. Some of those places that... Um, I've traveled to and I just love it. So this one here, uh, this was out in in uh, just on the east coast of Malaysia. It was so beautiful and the sunsets were just wonderful. And I just thought I should share this one with you all too. And then um, here's another one. And this is up atop up, up one of the uh, peaks out in Georgetown. And what you can see down there is Georgetown, Malaysia. It was just so beautiful and i just thought i should share that as well traveling is beautiful you see so much it just opens up so much of your mind and also just get to see um different different cultures and this one was one of um 
a uh, little a little boardwalk up on uh, in uh, on the Pehinchin Islands on the eastern off the eastern coast of Malaysia as well. Beautiful, beautiful place. Got to, to stay at the uh, it's called Pehinchin Dasa, I think it was the larger island. It was beautiful, and then of course the smaller island, which is the Party Island. And this was in the forest somewhere in the forest in in Malaysia, heading up to that peak. It was a nice climb. There was lots of sweating. If you zoom in on that picture, you'd see my face just drenched in sweat. But beautiful, beautiful indeed. And then this was uh, near James Bond Island. It was beautiful too. Uh, wonderful spaces to be in. And just, I, I, I loved it all. I loved it all. And I'll show you some other ones too afterwards. But this was... Uh, in uh, Whistler. This was in Whistler, up atop one of the peaks, all the way up. As you know, Whistler is a skiing uh, resort. I don't ski, but um, it was still nice to be there, hike, and also just ride the, the, the gondolas, ride ride everything to see um, from, from atop the hills. Beautiful, beautiful places, and I hope that you get to trouble. This was in Costa Rica, and that was the Arenal Volcano. Uh, it was so good to see. And for this one, actually, we had planned on it. <laughs> we thought it would be a longer hike to see the volcano and all dressed up in gear. But then turned out that it was a hundred meter walk. It was very short, but it was still so, so beautiful. More pictures at the end of our reading. But for now, I just wanted to share those ones so you could see some of the amazing land formations that we're talking about in the book that we can go to these places and actually see them in a real life. And hopefully that we have the means to do so, of course. I realize that that can be a privilege to be able to do that. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I hope you enjoyed that. But for now, we're going to go ahead into our book and enjoy it some more. Learn about a few of these, most of the better natural things in the world. Yes a bit about them and then we'll be back on the other side of course to talk some more this one is coming to you from Dave Eggers and Angel Chang and uh, this one we're reading with permission of the publishers Chronicle Books of San Francisco welcome welcome get comfortable get cozy as we're about to get started with our story here we go and good morning to you of course Betty Deshay and Rikia joining us out here in Oakland glad you could make it thank you for being here on story time absolutely appreciate you Rikia I hope you get to enjoy your first day off school and enjoy it and of course thank you for starting it out with us here on story time all right here we go the first one that we're going to look at is called a step and a step um is a wide plain usually covered with grass or other low growth. Steps are found in places where there are hot, dry summers and short, short rainy winters. And I hope that you can see that beautiful landscape there um, clearly, but it is, it is indeed uh, wonderful. And that is called a step. Have you seen one of those? Have you been to one of those? <laughs> All right, let's see what is the next thing we have. And there's just so much to see in this. I'll try to go a little bit slow. This one actually reminds me of, um, you know, Zion National Park. You get to see landforms like this. This one is a gorge and uh, a narrow valley in between steep rock formations or mountains. Gorges are often dramatic in their appearance. And the bottom, there is often a river or a stream. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and that is a gorge, a natural valley in between steep rock formations or mountains. Gorges are often dramatic in their appearance. And at the bottom, there is often a river or a stream. <laughs> I'll try to linger a little bit on the pictures so you can enjoy them. Enjoy these beautiful formations. The next one is a valley. Look at that. A low range of land separating mountains or hills. Valleys often have a river flowing through. And you can see a mountain on either side. And a valley right there in between. A low range of flat land, a low range of land separating mountains or hills. Valleys often have a river flowing through. Oh, what an adventure Tiger is on today, seeing all these lovely places. And of course, we have a plain. 
A plain is a flat piece of land with very few trees. Plains are often turned into farmland. The Midwestern United States is largely plains. Have you visited those parts? Yes, the Midwestern United States is, is largely plains. A plain is a piece of land with very few trees. Plains often are turned into farmland. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, how about a cloud forest? A cloud forest is a moist, always green forest, constantly covered by clouds or fog. Most cloud forests are in Central America, but they can also be found in South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Caribbean. Oh, yes. Good to see a few of those around. A moist, always green forest, constantly covered by clouds or fog. Most cloud forests are in Central America, but they can also be found in South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Caribbean. And that's just an example of one right there. <laughs> Thank you for the tour, Tiger. Loving these land formations. I hope that you are learning something too as we go through all these different ones. And what about this one? This one is called a fjord. A large, narrow inlet of the sea in between frozen, icy cliffs. Norway is known for its beautiful and plentiful fjords. Have you seen one of those? <laughs> A long, narrow inlet of the sea in between frozen, icy cliffs. Norway is known for its beautiful and plentiful fjords. What else is there to see? So much. How about an atoll? A circle-shaped coral reef of or group of islands that surrounds a lagoon. Atolls are found by underwater, are formed by underwater volcanoes. Look at that. Atos, a circle shape, an atto is a circle shaped coral reef or group of islands that surrounds a lagoon. Atos are formed by underwater volcanoes. Have you seen any of those? <laughs> <laughs> Something to do for you this summer. How about an archipelago? What is that? An archipelago is a group of islands. Usually these islands are relatively close together, like pebbles thrown into the sea. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, a group of islands. Usually these islands are relatively close together, like pebbles thrown into the sea. That is an archipelago. <laughs> Oh, how about an estuary? Well, an estuary, an area where a river or stream carrying fresh water meets the saltwater ocean. Many fish, birds, crabs, and other creatures live in or near estuaries. Oh, yes. This is an area where a river of stream or stream carrying fresh water meets the saltwater ocean. <laughs> I hope that we're learning a lot from this book. I am just being reminded of so much. What is an oasis? Well, a green, moist area in the middle of the desert. Water is found in an oasis. So it's sometimes called a watering hole. A thirsty traveler in the desert always hopes for an oasis. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Have you seen one of those too? <laughs> yes, oasis is that source of water in the middle of the desert. Water is found in an oasis, so it's sometimes called a watering hole. A thirsty traveler in the desert always hopes for an oasis. 
<laughs> How about the lagoon? What is that? Well, it is a large area of calm seawater. Lagoons are always close to or lead to bigger bodies of water like oceans or bays, but are separated from them by things like barrier islands, low sandbank, sandbanks, or coral reefs. A lot of times people like to kayak or canoe on lagoons. Oh yes, I love to do that too. <laughs> There's one right now, I'm blanking on the name, but there's one near us here close to Santa Cruz and it is a beautiful one to, to um, kayak in and you get to see all the otters and stuff popping up. That is a lagoon. What else can we see? What else is out there? Well, nature has so much to offer for us. How about an alpine lake? What is that? Well, a lake or reservoir high above sea level and surrounded by mountains. Alpine lakes, tend, Alpine lakes tend to be very clear because of the cold mountain water that empties into them. <laughs> oh, yes. A lake or reservoir high above sea level and surrounded by mountains. Alpine lakes tend to be very clear because of the cold mountain water that empties into them. <laughs> what else? Well, there's also something called a chaparral. What is a chaparral? It's a group of shrubby bushes that are fit for dry summer and moist winters. Chaparros are home to many animals like jackrabbits, coyotes, mule deer, and alligator lizards. Oh, that does seem like the perfect home, doesn't it? <laughs> Chaparro, a group of shrubby bushes that are fit for summers and moist winters, uh, that are fit for dry summers and moist winters. Chaparros are home to many animals like jackrabbits, coyotes, mule deer, and alligator lizards, and many, many more. <laughs> Where do we go next, tiger? Oh, this is the part I forget. So let's talk about the foothills, and then we'll try and see if we can open up the pages and read what's in there, too. Foothills, a range of small hills at the foot of a mountain. Many, ma many mammals li live on foothills, like mountain lions, Bobcats, coyotes, and skunks. Yes. If you're out here in Oakland, you get to see those too. And this one is a vista. We have our own vista out here. It's called, um, oh my goodness, what is it? Uh, Grizzly Peak. And you get to see a beautiful, beautiful um, outlay of the bay. A vista is a view that usually dramatic in scope. Often, a vista is an established viewing spot from atop a mountain ridge, a mountain ridge or mesa. So look out for that in your own neighborhood. Look at that, what a stunning view. And that is a vista. And I love that the book opens up that way to that. What else can we see? Well, we have Badlands, a region with limited vegetation and uniquely formed rough hills. Badlands are mostly found in the United States in southwestern South Dakota and southwestern Nebraska. So you can get to visit those if you visit those regions of the U.S. And those are called Badlands. <laughs> what else? There's still more to see. Still more to see. How about the tundra? What is that? Well, a tundra is a flat area without trees that consists mostly of mosses and lichens, herbs and dwarf shrubs. Tundras exist in frozen subsoil parts of North America, Asia, Europe and the Arctic. Yes. Tundra regions, cold. <laughs> a flat area without trees that consist of mostly mosses, lichens, herbs, and dwarf shrubs. 
Tundras exist in frozen subsoil parts of, the, of North America, Asia, Europe, and the Arctic. What else is there? So, so much more to see. Dunes. Oh, one of the most favorite places to visit was Namibia, and it has it's, the dunes there are just amazing. Wave like sand formations that are created by wind. Most sand dunes are located near the sea or in a desert. Most dunes are located near the sea or in the desert. Where have you seen dunes? <laughs> a ridge. A ridge is a string of hills or mountains that form a continuous, a continuous elevated range. The peaks of the ridge often have their own names. Altogether, the silhouette created by these mountains and hills is called the ridge line. What's the ridge line in your area? <laughs> yes, this is a string of hills or mountains that form a continuous elevated range. The peaks of a ridge often have their own names. Altogether, the silhouette create the silhouette created by these mountains and hills is called the ridge line. There's still more. How about a gorge? Well, a gorge is a narrow ravine with steep sides surrounded by a fast-moving stream. <laughs> What an adventure with Tiger today. This one is called a gulch. A narrow ravine with steep sides surrounding a fast-moving stream. Does that remind you of anything? <laughs> How about a glacier? Well, a glacier is a large mass of ice that moves very slowly, spreading out on a land surface. Glaciers leave behind valleys and unusual land formations. And I hope that you get a chance to read more about all of these land formations that we're talking about today. And who knows, maybe get to visit some of them. How about an isthmus? Well, an isthmus is a long, narrow strip of land that connects two bigger land masses that are separated by water. An isthmus is a long, narrow strip of land that connects two bigger land masses that are separated by water. How cool is that? <laughs> that is called an isthmus. What else do we have? What else can we see? Oh, there's one called a tiger. Please note the spelling. T-A-I-G-A. -A, different from T-I-G-E-R, the animal. Tiger. This is a swampy forest usually found in the northern parts of the globe between tundras and steppes. The tiger is home to billions of trees and makes up one of the world's largest biomes. Oh. It makes up one of the world's largest biomes. This means a place that you can find many, many living creatures. What else do we find? Well, Tiger was our end, but also at the end. So what I did with this book, um, if you read, remember reading it with me before, I took, printed out these pages and then cut out the little pieces so I could match them to the landforms because everything is at the end. All you see in the in the book is just the picture itself. But I think it's a good way that way so that you can 
see immediately what it is and get a little bit of um, an explanation of what you're looking at. Thank you so much for joining in story time. I hope that that today, you know, like um, just increases your desire to travel, increases your desire to do so many things out there. There's so much to see in the world. And I hope that, you know, you get to do that. If not today, someday indeed. Thank you so much for joining in story time. There's so much to see in the world. Um, and um, if you can, if you're able, I encourage you to go out there indeed and see what this beautiful world has to offer. One of the things that I've learned learned too is that as I've traveled you know in just locally in the US or as well and finding the number of um, foreign languages that are spoken in those places tends to make me realize just how far and wide people are coming to see some of these things that we are close to and may not think of going to taking advantage of them because we're so close so remember too that there's lots of good places to see near you lots of beautiful places lots of um wonderful wonderful land formations to visit so please please do look out for them do some research about your area and see what you can see close by and hopefully it is within budget as well thank you so much for joining in story time today always a pleasure to be here with you this was our book for today most of the better natural things in the world i am getting there slowly <laughs> <laughs> and this one is written by Dave Eggers and illustrations by Angel Chung. Thank you so much for joining me on Storytime today. I hope you enjoyed it. And it is coming to you from Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A wonderful one indeed. More ideas for what to do this summer as the holidays are upon us, as the days off are upon us from school. Thank you so much for joining in. But if you're an inside cat and you prefer to be inside and maybe a little exploration here and there, well, we have something for you coming up tomorrow. Join me coming to you from award-winning author Brendan Wanzel. We will be bringing Inside Cat tomorrow coming to you from Chronicle Books of San Francisco. So please do join me for this one and get to enjoy this lovely, lovely book indeed with a twist at the end of it. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Absolutely love it. It is indeed a beautiful book that we read today. And thank you, thank you indeed, Lynette Marie and Quincy out in Marin. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you back here on the lives. And today we were reading most of the better natural things in the world and they are stunning indeed thank you for being here and like i was saying earlier too just a few of those places got to see so many amazing places this was um at a cave in uh in a cave actually in um in in malaysia as well it was beautiful this cave is enormous you get in and it's just it's like a whole mountain has been carved uh, cubbed out of the insides and you're just kind of walking through all this. It was wonderful. This was um, uh, zip lining uh, in the forest out in Costa Rica. Beautiful, beautiful place indeed. And um, this one here was right close by to where I am, Dillon Beach. It was uh, one, one, one of the days when I went out with my friends. We were out at... Um, we're out at um, uh, at the beach. It was Memorial Day weekend, actually. So this time, three, four years ago, maybe. Yeah, so that was the place. But beautiful place indeed. And I encourage you to travel indeed if you can. And this one was just also a shot from the uh, Caribbean side in a place called Kawita out in, um, in Costa Rica. Beautiful, beautiful place indeed. And this one, I loved it out too in Whistler up all the way out in the mountains, seeing all the snow-covered peaks. It was beautiful indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. I just thought I should share these land formations today. This was a, um, a salt rock um, formation out in, um, this was out in Thailand, I think, uh, that, that trip. So yeah, lots and lots of things to see out there, lots of, uh, to see in the world. These are just a few that I could pull up quickly to show you all today, just how, you know, like these are not just land formations, in books, but these are places that we can go and visit, places that we can go and see. And there's so, so much to see out there in the world. I hope that, you know, you get a chance to do a little bit of that, whether it's hiking, whatever else that you're going to do, I hope that you get to see it. And of course, this one I mentioned already, the Arenal Volcano out on the, um, out on the western side of, um, of, um, Oh my goodness, Costa Rica. Yes. Thank you so much for joining in. Glad you are here with me today for story time. Thank you indeed for joining us today. I love travel and I hope that you know 
everybody out there gets a chance. You little ones, I hope that one day you get to travel and see the world, all oh, the different amazing things. When you talk of sand dunes, I mentioned Namibia earlier. When we talk about food, oh my goodness, do not get me started on food because there are many places. If you've been to Zanzibar, you will get to see um, these, um, there are these fish markets that happens at Stone, um, at Stone Town and you get to have all oh, these amazing, it's just like miles and miles of just different fish, um, uh, fish traders and you get to have tastings and so much more. If you like octopus, you like squid, that is the place to be. And also just in another place um, out in Borneo, Borneo, um, uh, a little um, a little protectorate near Malaysia as well. Borneo had lots of these markets as well, big markets. You go at 6 p.m. in the evening and it just stretches on and on and you can just taste from dumplings to whatever you you know your heart desires. So much food. Thank you so much for joining in. I just thought I should share a bit of those today as we were reading this book today that just talks about most of the better natural things in the world. And this one was put together by Dave Eggers and Angel Chung and of course published and read with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for joining in. I know that you all live in wonderful parts of the country as well. So maybe one of these days, please send me some pictures and we'll get to share them out here to just show the amazing places that um, are your home. Thank you so much for being here. Beautiful book indeed, Lynette Marie. I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Good morning to you, baby Pia. I'm glad you made it. Nate, how are you doing today? Amanda and of course Marlin was still going to say hi to you thank you so much for joining in out in sunny seattle i know that's another beautiful part of the country so please one day let us make sure that we share pictures and get to enjoy thank you so much amanda west say gorgeous pictures it was amazing places to visit thank you thank you indeed and i'm glad that we were here together just um as summer comes you know like that travel bug is beginning to to build and build and so we'll see what happens this summer but indeed if you can if you're able i hope that you get to see what this world has to offer out there thank you so much for joining in story time yes indeed lynette murray what wonderful adventures we've had absolutely thankful for that and you know what looking forward to many many more and i hope that everybody here too that is with us today gets to have as many travel adventures as possible thank you for being here for story time absolutely appreciate you and please please join me again in saying happy birthday to you soraya sixth birthday today thank you so much for joining in story time always a pleasure having you here and i'm glad that we've been able to join us for the lives the last few days thank you for being here and i'm glad that you woke up extra early it is an extra special day today so enjoy it and please remember to sharon like i said please get in touch with me let me know so we can pass along a special birthday gift to Soraya. Thank you. Thank you indeed for joining in story time. Absolutely love it to everybody that joined in today. May the trouble bug be with you and may you, you know, get to see so many beautiful places. And um, I hope that you have a lovely Thursday. Please, please do join me again tomorrow for more story time as we come back with Inside Cat, this one coming to you from Chronicle Books, and of course, award winning author, illustrator Brendan Wenzel. Do join me tomorrow and get to enjoy that one and get to see if you're, you know, being home is the thing for you. If you're an inside cat, well, this one's for you tomorrow, and um, I hope that you enjoy being with us again. Join me, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Much love to each and every one of you out there. Thank you indeed for being here. I will see you again tomorrow for more story time. For today, please have a lovely day out there. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. <laughs> Won't you start all the reading? I just can't wait to be hearing story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. to life your favorite stories with a great big smile you won't leave lonely you won't just start all the reading i just can't wait to be here